Hey there and welcome guys. Today we're going to be talking about the leg up quad stretch. Now this is an incredible stretch for your quadriceps. So basically if your hands hurt or you find that you can't pull uh, effectively, then doing something like this is going to be very helpful. I would get a higher box than I got here now that I'm thinking about it, but this still works and this is definitely going to stretch out your quadriceps. At the end of the video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of the common mistakes that I want you guys to avoid. Uh, but to go into it right now, what you're going to basically do is get a box around your knee height or even higher i may even go hip height to be honest with you now that i'm thinking about this but uh then you want to make sure you take a nice big step forward not necessarily into a bulgarian split squat stance but just a little bit more um narrow than that or a little closer to the box but before we continue with more tips here's a word from today's video sponsor me i'm today's video sponsor and if you'd like help losing fat or gaining muscle there are a few ways i can help you down below Either set up a free consultation with us, purchase through one of our free affiliate links, or purchase one of our instant access affordable training programs. Can't wait to be of service to you. Now let's get back to the rest of the video. Now, when you're doing this stretch, you want to make sure that you balance yourself as much as possible. So if you even want to use like a stick, uh, like a cane or something like that, uh, you just hold on to it with one hand, and that's going to help you stabilize a little bit better. What you also want to make sure you're doing is on that back leg that you focus on keeping that foot exactly have, as I have it here. And if you want, you can even put a pad underneath that. You want your foot basically uh, at an angle. You don't want to be on your toes. Trust me, that hurts way too much. And you're going to really feel that in your toenail and also in your knuckles and your feet. So you want to avoid that. Also make sure the front foot is flat. So you want that front foot completely flat and you want to make sure that your knee stays over your ankle on the front foot. What you could also do is if you use a higher box, you won't need to bend that front leg so much, which is fine. What you really want to be aiming for is getting that heel close to the glutes. So as you can tell, if I were to go lower, that heel would slowly but surely get closer to my glutes. But this is a great uh, beginner stretch, meaning like if you can't do that other stretch, this is a great way to kind of get yourself into that position to be able to do it. Uh, if your quads are that tight though, uh, that's pretty serious. But... You want to make sure that you're working your way up to doing uh, it so that your heels touch your butt. And I understand, by the way, if you have like really strong legs and it's hard to get to that point, but you want to be aiming for that constantly. And what that's going to do is going to stretch your quadriceps as much as possible and prevent injury. Uh, that's what I find is one of the main reasons why people actually uh, struggle with their leg development is usually because they don't have any mobility in their quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, or hips. Now, what I want to do now is I want to talk about some of the common mistakes that I want you guys to avoid. That way you can get the most out of this stretch. And the first one is not bending that front leg. So notice how my heel is further away from my glute, not closer. And that's what that front leg bend will do. Also, like I said, you don't want to be on your toes on that back leg. That's going to put way too much pressure on your toes and it's going to hurt more than stretch your quadriceps. And then the next mistake that you want to avoid is taking an excessively large step forward. 